Hello everyone, this is Chris Paradise, one of the authors of Integrating Concepts in Biology. Uh, what you're looking at here is uh, an open version of the acetylcholinesterase enzyme. And this is what the, mo the 3D model looks like from the top when it's closed up. And if you look down here, you, you should be able to see some colored uh, atoms and molecules and that's where the active site is where acetylcholine is broken down. Now if we open it up again you'll see the active site here and here and if we pull this out this is acetylcholine it attaches to the active site and it's broken down and in and so this is this acetylcholine is from um, the mosquito Culex pipians, and what has been shown in some populations that are resistant to um, carbamates, which this is a a model, a three D model of a carbamate pesticide in the susceptible insects it attaches and binds in the active site and it then prevents the acetylcholine from binding. As you can see here it won't go back into the slot. There is a mutation in some uh, resistant populations of Culex pipians in both subspecies where this amino acid residue which is glycine is changed to a serine which has a different side chain which sits like this and then prevents the carbamate from binding to the active site so now the carbamate can no longer bind but the acetylcholine can still bind, just like it did before. So the enzyme can still perform its function as before, but no, now is resistant to the uh, carbamates binding uh, to the acetylcholinesterase. And this enzyme uh, in the resistant populations, has it's been found that the enzyme, the, the substitution from serine uh, from glycine to serine is the same uh, modification in different populations and through evolutionary analysis they, uh, the scientists were able to show that this same mutation arose independently so it arose at least twice and as many as 10 or more times in, in different resistant populations of two subspecies of Culex pipians.